Sagittarius, you need to know this right now for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon. Rising and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. So, Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So sad. You can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with you, Sag, Aries, or Leo, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Sag, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Sag, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now, Sag, you can tell me that you're suited for battle over your coins and the lack thereof here, Sag. Sag, you can tell me because of the tip for tat tug of war toe to toe, you guys are breaking up. You can tell me because of the mind games and manipulation, you guys are breaking up. Sag, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to ground with this person, and that's the reason why you're breaking up. Sag, you have the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or a message of it. So sad, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. 
So sad. You can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have your stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid. So sad. You can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. That's sad. You can tell me that you're standing your ground. You're closing out a cycle concerning some news concerning your practicality here. You could also tell me that you're closing out a cycle in your guys' commitment or relationship because you don't trust something here or you mean what you say. You stand about what you're saying, that you're ending things with this person or breaking up with this person. Sad, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So sad, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. <clears throat> now Sag, listen, you very well could be receiving good news about practicality. Maybe you have something else coming in after you stood your ground with whoever this is over here, Sag. Sag, you could also tell me that this person is coming in trying to apologize here and offer you, but you have your guard up. You don't trust Sag. You're a little hesitant here. Sag, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So sad. You can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Sag, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Now Sag, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. Something from the past is being brought back up here. This is the whole reason with you closing out a cycle, breaking up with this person. You don't trust them. 
said, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention concerning someone from their past being in the picture. And this is the reason why you're breaking up and you have your guard up. Said, you could also tell me that this same person that you're in the cycle with and breaking up with is getting your attention, wanting to reunite here because they're coming in with this offer. But Sag, I want to know if someone from your past is getting your attention and that's the person that's coming in with this offer. And you're like, you know what? I, I can show you something. I can show you better than I could tell you. You're breaking up with someone and getting it on with someone else. Sag, you have the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the ten of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Sag, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now Sag, you can tell me that you're feeling this betrayal with work or business here. Okay, you can tell me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal because they had a third party. Sag, you can tell me that you're coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal and you guys are working things out here. Or because they betrayed you, you're going on towards someone from your past who could be coming in with a, a cup and a, and a pentacle here, Sag. Because you started off telling me that you may be seeking some type of revenge here. We're going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Sag. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I lay awake at night thinking about how badly I messed up. I lay awake at night thinking about how badly I messed up. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Sag. And it says, I love you unconditionally. I love you unconditionally. They may be trying to get back with you, Sag. Hmm. Sag, you need to know this right now for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.